up and they're under starters orders and they're coming into a first time start and they're away to a first time on the stand side freddie goes right up there with super sweet and major hitch major hitch is the early leader now with freddie on his inside april rose is going up on the outside with forest prince not far behind him and they're coming to the melling road already and it's freddie on the inside pop him down major hitch towards the outside brown down then april rose and forest prince and my gift well up there and as they cross the melling road and come to the first freddie on the inside pop him down in the center brown diamond right up there and major hitch on the far side with april rose and Forrest Prince and over to Bob Haynes. Willow King right up there on the outside, just about landed in the lead, but it's in fact Forrest Prince showing just ahead of Irish Day. Willow King right up on the outside, Quinton Bay prominent. I'm looking back to see if there are fallers and I can't see any at the first as they go over the second and it's Willow King on the outside of Forrest Prince. Then comes L'Empereur, then Irish Day packed home on the inside as they go to the first of the open ditches. Forest Prince on the inside that Willow King landed in the lead from well-packed Willow King, Forest Prince, L'Emperor and well-packed and over to Tony Preston. Yes, and it's still Forest Prince right there on the inside with Willow King jumping there in the centre and they all seem to be safely over there, the grey flying wild in the centre and they're coming on now towards the fence which will be before Beaches. One fence before Beaches now, they're coming up to this, a plain brush fence as they come into it and they seem to be safely over and it's Willow King there in the centre for Forest Prince in the blinkers, Harry Black on his outside and then just coming in behind them is Quentin Bay and now they're coming up to Beaches now they're about, what, six strides from Beaches as they come in to measure it and it's Forest Prince in the centre and Forest Prince safely, uh, Willow King discovers and there's a faller there on the inside which I'll give you in a minute but the others all seem to be safely over as they come on now towards this fence after Beaches it is Forest Prince on the inside, Capito just up behind him, safely over beaches this time. And then on the inside comes Freddy, still going easily, with Greek Scholar on his outside. And I see there that number 12 packed home was a faller. And then Harry Black going well, and up coming up behind him. As they come to the canal turn, now it's still Forest Prince who is in the lead. Forest Prince, Capino over second. Then comes Greek Scholar going well on the inside. Freddy's still going very, very steadily. And then just behind Freddy comes Val Louis and Harry Black. Then comes Gale Force 10. And then, uh, on the going, getting going again on the outside is Willow King, and they're going over Valentine's. The field's still going on. There only seem to be two or three fallers at this stage, and Bowlberry way back to the back of the field. Going on now towards the eighth fence. Forest Prince still the leader, Greek scholar with Michael Scudamore going up on his inside. Capino just behind him, and then comes Quinton Bay. Then Freddie still going easily. They're coming up now towards this next plain fence and Greek Scholar in the, in, on, in the inside, Forest Prince just on his outside, Quintin Bay showing just their third. Now they have another ditch to jump before they go on to the race course. This next one is the next of the big ditches that they jump, Greek Scholar on the inside. He's going to jump it first, just ahead of Forest Prince, and as they start to stream over that fence, the leaders will already be coming onto the race course. And with it, the lead at this stage being disputed between Forest Prince and Greek Scholar, I return you to Peter O'Sullivan in the grandstand. Forest Prince first onto the race course from Greek Scholar, then comes Capino going easily, then Quinton Bay on the inside of L'Empereur, who's been going strongly, he's still in fifth place. Then comes Harry Black, then the grey loving record, and then Flame Cap and Freddie on the inside. Behind Freddie is Val Louis, then comes Brown Diamond, then Gale Force 10, and behind Gale Force 10 is What a Myth, then comes Major Hitch behind Major Hitch's Norther. Now they're leveling up to come to the next fence onto the race course, and it's Forrest Prince the leader from Greek Scholar on the inside. Then comes Capino, then Quinton Bay, then L'Empereur. Behind them is Harry Black with Flame Cap and Loving Record, and Freddie going the shortest way on the inside with Val Louis just in behind him in the end. Gale Force 10. Forrest Prince over that one ahead of Greek Scholar, second Capino, third. Fourth was Quinton Bay, fifth was L'Empereur, sixth Harry Black. Then on the outside of Harry Black is Loving Record and Flame Cap, and on the inside is Freddie still going strongly with Val Louis just in behind him and then Gale Force 10 and Northern Forest Prince over that the leader from Greek Scholar over second Capino's over third Quinton Bay's over four then comes L'Empereur behind L'Empereur is loving record and then comes Freddie and Big George not far behind them coming up to the chair now for the only time and it's the blinkered Forest Prince just the leader from Greek Scholar on the far side Forest Prince over from Greek Scholar over second Capino's over third Freddie on the far side then Quinton Bay and Northern and towards the stand side, it's Flame Cack with Loving Liquid and L'Empereur. Gale Force 10 is not far behind him. Brown Diamond coming to Gale Force 10. Uh, Game Person fell there, and over there, over the water, it's Forest Prince, the leader from Greek Scholar, second. Capino is third. Flame Cap is fourth.
fourth. Freddie Smith on the inside. Then comes Norther and loving record and Gale Force 10. Behind Gale Force 10 is Val Louis and behind Val Louis is Anglo. Then comes Quinton Bay who's lost a bit of ground. Behind Quinton Bay is Harry Black. Then Royal Roos and running down to the Melling Road for the second time to go out into the country. It's Forrest Prince disputing it now with Greek Scholar on his inside. Capino is third. Freddie is fourth. Norther's next. Gale Force tends next on the inside. Then comes Val Louis, loving record and flame cup on the outside. That's the order as we rejoin Bob Haynes. And Fed 17, they've passed halfway now and it's Forrest Prince in the lead from Greek Scholar, then Capino. Then loving record, flame cap, Freddie on the inside, Val Louis right up there. Gale Force 10 and Northern not far behind them and Quintin Bay and on to the next play and fence, fence number 18 and Forrest Prince in the lead from Greek Scholar, Capino, Val Louis, Freddie on the inside, the grey loving record, then Flame Cap, then Anglo, which I didn't mention a moment ago, then Northern, then Gale Force 10, Quintin Bay, then comes Royal Roos and then Highland Wedding improving and at the open ditch and it's Forrest Prince in the lead from Greek Scholar, Forrest Prince from Greek Scholar on the inside and then Capino and over again to Tony Preston. Yes, and it's still Forrest Prince there with the blinkers, his head bobbing up and down as they come into this fence. He is still just the leader and he's over first, Greek Scholar second, Capino is still third. Highland Wedding making good ground on the inside and now the next fence that they jump will be the one before Beaches. They've already jumped it once before, a plain fence and as they come into it now, Forest Prince and Capino, and Capino jumps just on his outside, but it's Forest Prince from Capino, and then in third place comes Greek Scholar with Val Louis just behind him. L'Empereur, I think, is still in touch there, and Highland Wedding still beginning to make ground, and now they're coming to Beaches again, about six strides. You can feel them going into it as they come into this fence. Forest Prince is going to jump it first, and he lands safely. Capino, I think, has gone there. Capino, who fell at this fence last year, has gone again. And as they come on now towards this next fence, it's a plain fence out for just Forest Prince by about four legs from Freddy. And Highland Wedding on his outside. Anglo jumps up there just on the outside of Freddy. And then comes Quintin Bay, then comes Gale Force 10. And then Loving Record, then the Fosso just going very easily for Terry Middlecombe there right up on the inside. The next is the Cantal turn. And as they come into it, Forrest Prince with his blinkered head, he peeps over, turns the corner quickly, and jumped very well on the outside there was Anglo, and on his inside is Freddy going very, very easily indeed. These fancied horses going well. The next one is Valentine's. Forrest Prince jumps in first. Over second goes Anglo. Freddy looked a little bit tired. Highland Wedding made a mistake on the outside. He's got going again. Quinton Bay is going up. So is Gale Force 10. Just behind Gale Force 10, I can see the Fosser still making ground. Then comes Lowing Record and Norther, who is still there with the chance. Forrest Prince still the leader over this fence. Forrest Prince, I would say, by about two to three lengths from Anglo showing in second place together with Freddy. Little to choose between these two. Then comes Gale Force 10 and Quintin Bay still improving. Highland Wedding going well on the outside. Forrest Prince still just the leader. Anglo jumps in second and they go on now towards... They've only got, what, three more fences to jump and the National of 1966 will be over. This is a ditch that they're coming to now. The last ditch that they have to negotiate. Still Forrest Prince, who is just the leader. Yes, Forrest Prince is the leader. Anglo going up on his outside. Gale Force still, 10, still improving. And as they go back onto the race course from here, it looks to me as if it's Forrest Prince and Gale Force 10. And I return you to Peter A. Sullivan. Forrest Prince, first onto the race course from Anglo, going very strongly on his inside. Then comes Gale Force 10 and Highland Wedding, and Freddy's just in behind him and making ground. And it's Forrest Prince now from the riderless horse. Then comes Anglo. Then Gale Force 10 and Highland Wedding, and Freddy being forced to make his run now on the outside. And it's still Forrest Prince from the riderless horse. Then comes Anglo on the inside. Freddy moving into third place towards the outer. He's under pressure from Pat McCarran. Pat asking him now for everything he's got. And it's Forrest Prince being pressed by Anglo. Anglo going very well on the inside. For, for trainer Fred Winter who won his first with his first national runner Jay Trump last year Anglo looks at him and jump it right upside Forrest Prince and he does this is the second last and it's between Anglo and Forrest Prince and Anglo going the strongest now as they come to the last fence in the national it's between Anglo and Forrest Prince with a stand up Freddie is third Gale Force 10 is fourth and over the last it's Anglo over first from Forrest Prince over second for Freddy's just coming to jump in third, Gale Force 10 is fourth, then comes Harlan Wedding is tiring and Belchick and Anglo is going away from Forrest Prince in second place, Freddy is third, Gale Force 10 is fourth, and this is Anglo striding away now to win the national, written by Tim Norman, his first ever national ride, Anglo is well clear of Forrest Prince and Freddy, these are going to be the principals, although it's still some way to go. It's Anglo going right away now as they stride up to the line. Freddie is battling on to get into second place as he did last year and up to 
to the line, and Anglo is the winner of the 1966 National. Second is the favourite, Freddie. Second for the second successive year. Third is Forrest Prince. And then coming up to the line, Voltrix. Having won the Grand National in his first 